Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy if you're new here and today I have another try-on haul for you guys. It is a spring try-on haul. I have six beautiful dresses, four pair of new shoes and also a bunch of denim. Let's get started with one of my favorite dresses and it is this one. So it is a gingham print on black and I guess shades of grays. Uh, with a little bit of ruffle going through diagonally. It also has an asymmetrical hem at the bottom. It has a side zip here. It's just a really good spaghetti strap dress. Really great for the summer. It's 100% silk as well and it is so comfortable. And you can dress it up or dress it down. So to dress it up, I cinched it in with my Gucci belt with a really beautiful pair of high heels and with a really fancy bag and also just to dress it down you can wear a bright color with a flat and just a beautiful bright color bag and it's just perfect for the summer if you're gonna buy one dress please buy this one because it's so beautiful so <laughs> here it is this is the other dress it is a really long dress with a side slit in the front of the left knee. It has sort of this faux wrap in the front, elasticated waist. The see-through bell sleeve made of silk as well. It's so comfortable you guys and this dress drapes so beautifully and it has Gucci vibes all over. It's so 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 beautiful. Like I said, if you're gonna buy one dress, um, I guess either one of these work. Uh, this one is definitely more dressy and I love it so much. I styled it multiple ways. So you can wear black sexy heels with it and a sexy bag and that would be fine. Uh, you can also cinch it in with the same belt that I use or some pearls to match the belt and some white heels. And you can also slightly dress it down. There's no rules or anything. I just feel like this dress is so beautiful. Definitely very Gucci vibe. And yeah, like I said, this is a beautiful dress. If you're gonna buy one dress or invest in one dress this summer, I say go for this one because you can wear it in the fall too because the colorways of this one, it has pinks, it has reds, greens, blacks. Basically, any color bags that you have in these colorways, even purple, it will match. I chose some pretty colorful stuff. Uh, this next dress is a red dress. It's a really, really pretty dress and it has a really nice fabric, like a rayon -y fabric. And uh, it's draped super well. It has some weight to this fabric, so it's a good fabric. Very affordable, buttoned down with elasticated waist and a super super long dress. Uh, I'm 5'4 by the way for reference and this one is pretty long. I can wear my usual two and a half inch heels and it will kind of brush the floor a little bit. So it is almost slightly too long for me but I can still pull it off. And it's just a beautiful red dress for the summer. I've just been really into red as you can see in the video. Uh, there's also a couple red bags to show you. Um, so yeah, this is a beautiful dress and very, very summery, very spring. Next up, I have another floral dress, but this one is all yellow. Well, with, you know, some purples and some pinks on it. You guys have already seen me wear this dress in one of my videos because I wore it during the video. And um, it's a one of those ties, you know, tie to the neck. I'm not the hugest fan of these kind of neckline because I do feel that they are very warm but I do think that the colors of this dress and also just the sleeve details see these ruffles um, they're really really pretty and so I did like it a lot what I ended up doing instead uh, instead of wearing it tied really tight to the neck is that I just kind of tied it like this as if it was a little bit of um no one of those silk scarves and I think it's very pretty as well so really like this dress as well really love the color this season is all about colors all the yellows and the greens and the reds next I have a couple of striped dresses and stripe is just all the rage this season I feel maybe because I've been noticing it a lot on the Fendi runway they have a lot of diagonal stripes going on and I really love them and I've been trying to find really good striped dresses to sort of you know, go with the trend, I suppose. So this one is a black and white. It's fairly simple, but it has details to it. So with the sleeves, you see there's a button detail here and a little bit of a tab inside. So you can kind of roll it up, make it into a three quarter sleeve, really elegant neckline and just um, elasticated waist. This one is kind of open though. So you do have to wear some sort of slip or some sort of shorts inside. 
and the pockets are oversized i love the look of these pockets i also like the asymmetrical hem um yeah nothing bad to say about this one except that i do feel that this fabric is slightly static for me so this is the next stripe dress by the way the one from before as well as this one they both come with um waist highs which i didn't use it has three different colors on it so you can mix and match a lot of colors that you have in your wardrobe so you definitely can wear blue shoes or like a red shoe or a red bag and white of course it's a really nice fabric good weight to it as well i just don't know why the red is bleeding into the white a little bit i don't know if you guys can see it but from afar you don't see it and it's definitely a very vibrant dress and uh also pockets this one is super long though i don't know why it's probably made for someone who's like 5'10 at least uh, i'm 5'4 and it's way too long on me even with super high heels i definitely have to hem this one but i do like the colorways of this one moving on to denims so i've been on the hunt high and low for a beautiful denim skirt i needed denim skirts in my life i used to wear them I don't know what happened over the last few years I stopped wearing denim skirts I would only wear like denim shorts or just normal dresses I would never have denim skirts and I really miss having denim skirts because they're so easy um, especially if you don't know what to wear you can just wear them with your favorite t-shirts you don't even have to have a lot of t-shirts if you have a normal white t-shirt crisp white t-shirt it will work it's just so easy but I needed a good denim skirt and I couldn't find them for the life of me. I couldn't find a good quality, a good cut, and just um, ones that fit my body type, I suppose. And finally, I found them. I found them at Topshop. So I bought a couple. Uh, this one I highly recommend. It's so beautiful. So this is the denim skirt that I found at Topshop. I got the size US 2, so it's a UK 6 European 34. Really beautiful skirt. I love the wash. I love this uh, little slit detail in the front, which is kind of an open slit. It has pockets in the back, pockets in the front. These are all functional pockets. The fabric of these denim is exactly what I was looking for. I want it stretched but still really heavyweight denim, like really good quality denim. And I felt like this was really good quality, especially once I tried it on, I was like, oh my gosh, it drapes so well. It's exactly what I needed and exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> so um, yeah, highly recommend this. I'll link it down below if you're looking for a good denim skirt as well. This one is also slightly longer, which is great because it's kind of slightly more dressy. You can kind of dress it up a little bit. By the way, I found out that uh, to the Topshop boutiques in Canada are owned by the Bay. I, I did not know that, <laughs> but now I know. So uh, I'll link down below the links to the, the Bay Topshop ones for you Canadians, and I'll link to the normal Topshop for the rest of the world for you guys to shop uh, these two denim skirts that I found. So this next one that I also found at Topshop, it's just, it looks like a simple mini skirt. It's just a zippered down uh, with functional pockets again. Even though it looks simple, it doesn't wear the same way. I've tried Zara, I've tried like everywhere. Like I, I tried to look everywhere and I couldn't find the good one. Like these ones I know that I can wear and keep for many years to come because they're denim, they'll last forever and it's a really good denim. Um, but yeah, I'm just so happy with this one. They just fit so, so well. I got it in the same size, US 2, UK size 6 and it, they just drape so well and they give you this nice shape visual comparison this shorter one is a slightly darker blue whereas this one is slightly more washed my last piece of clothing another piece of denim um, is from levi's and this is called the i think it's called the ex-boyfriend yeah ex-boyfriend trucker so it's a really really nice denim jacket um I didn't really need another denim jacket, but I kind of wanted something that is a little bit more oversized because I have the one that is slightly more cropped and slightly more um, fitted. So I have that for summer and I love wearing that one, but sometimes I just want something slightly bigger 
where I can just kind of hide in it or even layer it. I can definitely layer with this one. It's big enough for sure. And I also kind of like the studded details anyway. So I didn't need it, but I like the details on it. And you guys already know I love my jackets. <laughs> so I bought it and yeah, I just, I just like it. It's just something else to have in my wardrobe. It's good denim. It's high quality denim. It doesn't stretch or anything. It's very heavyweight. Um, definitely not as summery for this one, although for cooler summer nights or cooler spring days, I could wear it. Uh, but definitely a really good uh, spring and fall piece in my opinion. So I'll try to link that down below as well. I couldn't find this exact same one uh, with the study detail on their website for some reason, but if I can find it, I'll link it down below. If not, I'll just link the similar fit down below for you guys. I'm sure you guys recognize this bag that I style with some of the outfits because I just recently revealed it. So uh, I'm loving, loving this bag and I love the bucket bag trend. But I'm sure that you also notice this red bag, another bucket bag with fringes. So this bucket bag is by Teddy Blake. I love both of them, but I just I would just compare the two just to give you a visual. I mean, the size comparison, this one fits a ton, this one fits minimal amount, but enough for everyday use. Just do a very quick review of this bag. I love, love, love this red bucket bag. I think they come in five different colors. I think there is like a brown, beige, uh, there's a blue, there is a gray I think there's a black and then there's a red so uh, all the colors are really pretty oh I think there's a pink too the red really just had my heart because I don't know why I'm so drawn to red this season and I think this red is super nice very vibrant on camera it appears a little bit more tomato-y uh, red but in real life it's a true true red it's a true lipstick red dimension wise nine and a half inches height and then the bottom is a perfect circle and i would say it's about seven to seven and a half inch wide um, so that pretty much gives you an idea of how big it is and it comes with a adjustable detachable strap so there there are hooks here on either side of the bag where you can detach this strap and either use it or use another strap on it which i really like about this feature i like that it comes with d-rings so that you can use one of your existing straps if you have them uh, especially if you have one of those shorter ones you can definitely use it more as a handheld or crook of the arm bucket bag or if you have a slightly shorter shoulder strap where you can use the bag more as a shoulder bag that would be amazing uh, for some reason i don't know why which i also brought up to the company uh, and they agreed with me so uh, they will also make some changes to the straps uh, is that they're really really long like this strap is the original five settings are here and it's just way too long um I had to tie my strap to do this styling video and uh, as you can see eventually I got these five holes uh, by myself um, you just go to your cobbler and they can do it very thick calf leather the lining is the suede lining of the leather and then it also comes with this little pouch which is pretty much permanently attached to the bag with a little bit of a zipper for you to carry your important thing fringe details on either side of the bag and yeah that's pretty much it on the inside it says teddy blake new york made in italy and just to show you that the drawstring is actually a functional one this leather is soft but it's still structured enough to hold its nice shape as you can see it's very very nice yeah highly recommend this bucket bag if you're looking for one this is full leather it smells incredibly good uh, the only drawback like I said is the strap for some reason the length is really long but hopefully by the time you order it uh, they would have done something with the strap length because I, I did tell them that I, I found it extremely long or you just keep the strap length and make extra holes like I did. I bought shoes to match this bag. Well, I, it actually matches both bags because they're both red. This is what I mean. <laughs> perfect match. And then, perfect match. This one will go with uh, just a nice beige as well because it has two colors. 
All right, so I did a little bit of shoe shopping, like I mentioned earlier. I bought this pair of sandals and this pair of sandals. So these are just Zara sandals. Um, they're leather, so I guess it's a leather upper. When I saw it on the website, I just thought leather for 45 bucks, sure. And then also, I like that they are a little bit uh, simple and they just kind of remind me of a very nice, slender, but wearable slide for summer. And I especially like the pop of color. I was especially looking for a red to match my bags. These are by the Italian shoemaker company. They're just really simple, very wearable, tan color with a little bit of gold details. I just thought that they were super comfortable. High heels for me is just not a question. I can't wear them on a daily basis. I can wear them only on occasions and usually I would bring a change of shoes also but something like this even though it is high heel but because it has a lot of cushioning and also just because the shape itself and it's open toe and just everything just makes it super comfortable so I got these so I'll see if I can link this down below um, I know that this company makes a lot of very affordable shoes. They're not always comfortable, but they're very affordable and I find that these ones are so neutral and just really good for spring. My next pair of shoes are these really beautiful, sexy black shoes from Tahari. They're so comfortable. Like, you wouldn't think so because the heel is kind of extra. They're extra for me. So those of you who ask me about shoe recommendations, I've always recommended Echo Shoes. Echo is the brand that I always go back to, especially for everyday dress shoes. They don't really have fancy ones, and when they do have fancy ones, they might not necessarily be comfortable. So uh, I do like Echo a lot, but uh, the choices are very limited. So whenever I come across like, any other brand or any other shoe that is like on the comfortable side even though they don't look like they would be comfortable I just snatched them out. This leather is just like lambskin soft or something. It might be lambskin. Maybe that's why they're so comfortable. Last but not least, I have these pairs as well and they are white so I got a black and I got a white and I got a red and I got a tan so I got I guess I got all the neutral colors out there. It tapers from slightly slimmer to slightly chunkier. I love it and obviously with a chunky heel it's always going to be stable but they were actually quite comfortable as well. These are from Mark Fisher. Because it is a lighter color shoe it also elongates your legs as well and just the shape itself with the pointy toe just really is elongating so really highly recommend these as well even though uh, like I said I don't always find comfortable shoes that look really good but when I do I snatch them up. That's it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really really love this haul. I think I found some really really good pieces especially for the spring and oh, some of these dresses are just so amazing. The colors are so vibrant. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel thanks for dropping by. I hope you'll consider subscribing because I'd love to have you back and that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you again very soon